Hi, good afternoon ladies and gents. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2018 on an 18 plate. Uh, it is the legend that is the Toyota Hilux. This one is the 2.4 D4D six speed manual active. Um, so in real terms, that means it's Euro 6 compliant. If you're going into any of the emission zones, it's all good for that. Active is kind of like their lead in specification, but it still gives you a nice little spec in the fact you've still got electric windows, mirrors, air con, um, DAB and Bluetooth. We will double check a couple of those when we're in the cabin shortly. So this is a one keeper from new vehicle. It has covered 103,000 miles from new. Warranted miles, direct off the lease company. Uh, we have done a little bit of refurbing on it. I'll run you through that as we go around. For those of you that haven't watched any of our videos before, then the purpose of them is to give you a warts and all video walk around of the vehicle. So you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying and then you can make that informed decision whether this is the vehicle for you or not. Um, now the vast majority of our customers will buy having watched these videos, leave a deposit, come and collect or leave a deposit and get a quote for delivery. So there's a couple of different options there for you to have a think about, um, but let's crack on with the video of the condition of it. So up here on the roof, we have a little LED flasher on the back there for you. Um, it is a Truckman hard top. Um, it isn't quite the same color as the rest of the vehicle. This is quite common uh, with these Truckman hard tops with this source of leasing company. Um, but anyway, it's a white one. Coming down onto the roof of the cab, as you can see, overall clean, tidy condition as well. Didn't come in with any roof rack on it or roof rail, so I don't think it's seen much action up there. Windscreen wise, coming down onto the windscreen. Um, overall, good. Um, we do have a minor stone chip here on the windscreen. Uh, I don't think that's MOT failable. I think we've already MOT this one, but I'll double check. But obviously, if it is, we'll get it sorted. Coming down onto the bonnet, and the bonnet again, good overall condition. Minor stone chipping, but nothing major. We have been around it with a touch up stick, so hopefully, there shouldn't be anything that really stands out on there for you. And then round to the front of the bumper, front grills, those are all looking good, nice and clean and tidy. Your passenger side headlamp unit, that's all good. Passenger side front bumper corner, all good, no scuffs. And if we look down the side profile of the vehicle from this angle, hopefully you can see, there's a nice mirror finish to the paintwork. Shows it's had a little bit of love. I think we did send this one into our detailer, so he will have machine polished this one. Um, it's all looking good. Round to the driver's side driver's side headlamp unit that's all good driver's side front bumper corner all good no scuffs and then looking down the side profile on the driver's side again nice little mirror finish to the paintwork uh, it has had a little bit of a ding on the door there at some point we did get our dent man to have a look at it it's about as good as he can get it um, but overall yeah not too bad uh, driver's side front wing a few stone chips here that have been touched in nothing major but they are there so we'll point them out to you Driver's side front wing is overall good condition. Steel wheels, now um, I'm a little bit OCD, so uh, we sent all the steel wheels off to be refurbed. They're freshly refurbished in uh, like a sheen black. Uh, and then we've just matched up all the tires. So you've now got four Lansale um, Trail Grabber tires, I think they are, Trail Blazer tires, there you are. So. Those are all basically nearly new, or well, they are new tyres on them all, all around the vehicle, okay? Um, looking underneath in your arches and stuff, all nice and clean. Front and rear mud flaps fitted to the vehicle. And now we are missing a mirror cover. There is one on the way to us, don't worry. We, uh, they're hideous money from Toyota, so we're having to rely on the mighty eBay for that one but your integrated indicator and your mirror unit itself is all good. It's just literally the cosmetic cap that we need to fit to it. Driver's side door glass, that's all good. The driver's side door itself, as I say, overall good condition. There was a ding here on the door, okay? It's about as good as we can get it with the dent man. Um, depends on what your thoughts are on that front, really. Um, door handle, there is just some uh, uh, it is coming off with a bit of a nail, but there is a little bit of sun, uh, what do you call it? Um, I was gonna say sun drenching, not really drenching, is it? Fading, call it fading, on a bit of the plastics there, okay? Um, door 
shuts or sorry door edges you can see everything lines up as it should do again rear door handle a little bit of that on it i think magic sponge might be able to get that up a bit better ollie my valeter we'll have a look at that for you now with all hiluxes you get this paint protection film it's fitted around here it's fitted around your arch here and it's fitted on the bottom just here uh, now with all of them and it especially shows up on a white or a silver vehicle you do get dirt behind it and then you will just kind of get that dirt ingress there this will come off if you wanted it to obviously you'd lose the protection of the paint protection film um, but then you'd also lose the um, the dirt that gets behind it um, driver's side rear door overall good condition as you can see get down low check out your lower sills those are also in good condition as well now with all of our pickups we do get them all jet washed off underneath and then we do um, shot all of the chassis that has been done on this one so as you can see on the back there look everything is being protected nice and tidy there for you a rear tub as you can see overall nice tidy condition again freshly refurbished steel on the back with a fresh new lancel tire as well uh, rear mud flaps on this side as well rear light unit on this side all present correct and in good working order and then just giving you another viewpoint from the side of the vehicle on this side and you can see looks nice and tidy and if i do a walk back there you can see it looks nice and respectable from a side point of view as well isn't it obviously more of a workhorse variant the active is but they're a good truck we sell loads of these uh, and uh, they don't cause us any dramas to be fair right working end of the vehicle as we call it or the rear end to everybody else um overall good condition um we have a little bit of a droopy handle there but i think it just pulls back into place obviously the handle's lost a little bit of its blackness we could mask that up and spray paint it for you to be honest with you um i'm not sure how long it would last but it might look man. that's what floats your boat that's what we can do opening up the tub and as I say, Truckman Hardtop, Truckman Load Liner. They're all done by Truckman for the for the lease company for new. Um, overall, not too bad condition, I've got to say. Look at the load liner. That's not done a lot of hard work, has it? Now, the other way of finding out how hard a work they've done is this little bit here in between the tub and the rear tailgate. Normally, <clears throat> if these are full of concrete and mud and a scratch to death, you know the thing has done a hard job. But this thing... It's pretty neat and tidy to be fair. Rear tailgate, as you can see, that's got a load liner on it as well. And then top of the tailgate here. Yes, there's some minor wear and tear marks on it and you do have another paint protection strip here, which makes it probably look worse, um, but overall good condition. What I always suggest is um, get a um, tailgate uh, cap um, to protect this, another black cap that will come over all of this and just gives it another protection um, for you putting stuff in and out. A little bit of a chip off your rear light unit. That is all working fine, but it has got a little bit of a chip off the, off the edge of it there. Rear bumper, it's got a few little signs of action on it, as you can see here and here. The plastic bits actually aren't too bad on it. And then this side actually isn't too bad. I've certainly seen a lot worse, and it hasn't been shoved right up against the tub. Um, like a lot of them have so that can't be too bad it does have a tow pack on it as you can see it is the ball and pin variety uh, and then we have obviously uh, um, what well, we got there seven pin uh, tow socket there as well passenger rear light unit's all good and then looking down the passenger side of the vehicle again overall clean and tidy condition rear quarter this side all looking good Again, freshly refurbished steel wheel with a fresh land sale tyre on this side. Again, everything's been protected under there by us as well. Uh, fuel flap, uh, obviously fuel uh, filler is behind the flap there. Again, your paint protection film on this side has got a little bit of dirt ingress behind it. And the same on there as well. Passenger side door, all looking pretty good. Passenger side front door, all good door handles this side actually are all right so i'm fairly sure we can get the others we saw the others on the other side 
door glass, passenger side's all good. Mirror unit this side with integrated indicator and the mirror itself is all good. And then passenger side front wing all looking good as well. Passenger side steel wheel, freshly refurbished. Another new land sale tire on it. Loads of tire tread depth as you'd expect with a new tire. Getting down low, check out your lower sills. And again, those are all looking all good as well. Now inside the vehicle, your passenger side rear door card. Overall clean, tidy condition. Door bins are looking good. Door shuts are overall clean, tidy condition. We have a little bit of wear here on the door sill here, which either needs a quick touching or a quick smart repair. Carpet inside, it's done a job. It's not immaculate, it's not filthy. And oh my God. So, have a look at the photos, have a look at the video. Now on the video, this seat looks horrifically dirty. On the photos, it looks clean. This is the iPhone camera. It's like an X-ray machine. Right, we'll get that rear seat re-cleaned, okay? Um, it looks dirty. Have a look, you, you, yeah. I know I sound like a complete goon, but um, you'd be amazed uh, at what the difference is. Um, passenger side door card, again, clean and tidy. Again, carpets inside the front, not too bad. Dashboard fascias, again, not too bad. You have two glove boxes. You've got another one here with your hand books in and we have a lower one here as well with more handbooks in just like toy to have like the biggest handbooks in the whole world i don't quite know why passenger airbag top of the dashboard on the passenger side as you can see clean and tidy as well passenger seat trim again that's neat and tidy and that's nice and clean isn't it there we go um all underneath etc all pretty neat and tidy Round to the driver's side, so no doubt I'll do the video for the driver's side now and that will show. So driver's side door card, entry seals and plastics, carpets, all good, back of the seat's good, rear seat, ah, see from this side doesn't look too bad, oh, from here it does, but right, we're going to get that rear seat re-cleaned on it for you, okay? And then driver's door card, all good, electric windows, electric mirrors, Carpet this side, not too bad. Driver's seat's not too bad either. Um, there is a little bit of wear, again, really common Toyota thing here. So we'll get that sorted out on it for you as well. Power heat button down here with headlamp levelers. We have your bonnet and fuel release there. I'm gonna pop that bonnet so you can have a quick look under there. Now, as I say, being active, spec, it's not, it's their leading model, but it's not a bad spec. So you have auto lights with rear fog light. You have a little bit of multifunction on your steering wheel for your volume and stereo controls and your telephone controls. The steering wheel itself is not in bad condition. If we fire her up. So these things always fire up on the button, no problems at all. Um, we've got fuel light on, we've got the light on, so I haven't got my um, seat belt on and we have the handbrake light on, but no other warning lights on and that instrument binnacle display is in good order, it's not full of dust, it's not scratched to death. Um, over here, we have your stereo system. Now, I did say it had DAB earlier on, and I'm not sure whether it does actually, to be fair. So let's have a look on your modes. We've got FM, we've got Bluetooth telephone, and we've got AM. So no DAB, but you do have Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. That banging music as well. Um, air conditioning, heated rear window, normal kind of, uh, Heated controls, we have electronic stability down here, rear diff lock here, 12 volt power here. Selectable four wheel drive system is on here, so it's normally running two rear, and you've obviously got high four and low four. Six speed manual gearbox, reverse gear all the way to the left and then forward. It does have a reverse beep on it, but it does also have a camera on it that highlights where your tow bar is quite nicely. Um, <clears throat> here's your button for your little shiny light on the roof, eco mode, power mode, cup holders, have a look in between the seats, you can see they're clean and tidy. Armrest is all good, load of storage in there. Let's quickly show you under the bonnet. As you can hear, she ticks over nicely, typical Toyota. Bonnet is like heavier, uh, heavier than uh, the world, to be fair. But underneath the bonnet there, hopefully you can see, pretty clean and tidy. Uh, add blue filler at the back there because this is obviously Euro 6. Here's your engine, 
coolant is down here, correct colour coolant for the Toyota. Airbox is here. But as you can see, overall clean and tidy condition, ticks over nicely as you would expect. And that, my friends, is about it. Now, there will be 50 to 60 photos of this van on our website shortly. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email us sales at vanstoday.com. If you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Trustpilot, doing a bit of that TikTok malarkey as well. And that, my friends, is about it. Now, if you want to be kept up to date with all of our latest purchases, then do like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, folks. Like and subscribe. Um, and there we go, my friends. Lovely little Toyota Active. Have a think. Let me know what you want to do. 15 minutes of your life, you're never going to get back. But there's an honest description of the truck. Thanks for watching. Cheers.